game. Early in the 21st century, the Tyrell Corporation advanced robot evolution into the Nexus phase, being virtually identical to a human, known as a replicant. The Nexus 6 replicants were superior in strength and agility, and at least equal in intelligence to the genetic engineers who created them. Replicants were used off-world as slave labor in the hazardous exploration and colonization of other planets. After a bloody mutiny by a Nexus 6 combat team in an off-world colony, replicants were de declared, no, it's no good. It's no good, it's too quick. If they'd slowed it down a bit, I could, could oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, pause it if you want to read it. Okay, guys, welcome to my Let's Play of Blade Runner. Los Angeles, November 2019. So it's only two years away. And this is what we've got to look forward to. I guess they predicted the level of pollution correctly. But will we have flying cars? If I did have a flying car, I wouldn't really want to fly over those chimneys that are kicking out flames. You know what I'm trying to say. Apparently Vangelis isn't doing the music for the next film. I don't know why that is, but I guess they have something similar. I'm leaving now. Lucy, my sweet. I cleaned out the tiger cage and sorted all the meal bins. So, if it's all right, it's my turn to fix dinner. D uh, haven't you forgotten something, little one? Just one little thing. Mr. Runcer, please. It's been a very long day. I don't want to. Now, Lucy, I thought we'd settled this last week. Don't let's forget who pays your salary. What a creep. We're closed. Come back tomorrow. Wait, I haven't finished. Don't push before. me, pull you. I told you we're closed. We're not here to buy, little man. We've come to sell. You can't possibly have anything to interest me. These are extremely rare animals of the highest quality. What a coincidence. So am I. Yes, you're indeed do do. That is the price for humanity. Oh, please don't. And what else might we interest you in today, sir? Perhaps some virtue. Uh, not my animals, please. I'm begging you. The monkey's loving it. But what of honor, little man? At what price? Honor. Oh my god, no! That tiger is the rarest specimen ever seen! Tiger, tiger, burning bright. The forest of the night. BR 61661, report to precinct headquarters. Code 3, repeat code 3. I was just finishing up my 12 out on patrol when I got the call. Welcome relief, considering that the most action I'd seen all night was a schizoid grandmother doing the shimmy in her underwear in the second sector. That is not something you'd like to see. So I can't see the Millennium Falcon. I was told that it was used in the film somewhere. Stuck on a wall or something. Maybe it's how Harrison Ford got to work. Last time I had a three was when some hooker vomited Thunderbird on Bryant's desk, and yours truly led the cleanup crew. Year and a half on the job, it was still the dirtiest work I'd seen. Where's Captain Bryant? Took a sick day. Got himself a heinous case of Tomain poisoning. He asked me personally to run the unit in his absence. Guza was one of the old time guys who took their knocks in the streets. He had a friendly way about him, but you didn't want to turn your back on him if you were less than a friend. Hope you've been enjoying your leisure time, kid, because it's time to take that thumb out of your ass. Hallelujah. Don't get too excited. The other Blade Runners are all jammed up. Holden sucking dinner through a straw. Gaff's working the Tyrell break-in, and Steele's working special undercover. Looks like you got this one by default. You really know how to make a girl feel wanted. Animal murder done at Runciter Zoological. 
probably just be a schizoid glitz, but we got the call. Old man Rensiter lost something like a billion chinions worth. Ten to one, this ain't a job for rep detect. You got something better to do? Perfect your French cooking, maybe? Mais oui. Slimming tonight, Slim? I thought you were on special assignment. Wasn't too damn special after I had the suckers out. What happened? A couple of fours were masquerading as fibroplast insulators down at Kaiser. I dressed up like a nurse, they never had a chance. I'll bet. You put them on the machine? Hell no. There's a beautiful little thing in here called the magic, and it ain't ever been wrong. You develop it, you got a brilliant career ahead of you. I'm working on it. What Scooza got you doing tonight? A.M. at Runsitters. Animal murder. Oh, those skin jobs got no respect for anything that truly lives and breathes. And that goddamn Eldon Tyrell ought to be zipped into a body bag and flushed into deep space. Get rid of him, we'd be out of a job. <laughs> I think we're all overdue for a little off-world paid vacation. You can stop staring at my ass now. You got eyes in the back of your head? All you gotta do is ask, Slim. <laughs> Okay, off we fly to Runciter's Animals. Animal sales was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals had died out after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones, though, powered by rechargeable batteries. No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds. So he could actually buy Duracell Bunny. Wow. Okay, we're at the crime scene. Let's talk to a policeman on duty. See what help he can give us. What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cub they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock. He's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. 30 cases of animals killed. I guess some of those were stick insects. Anything else? Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate art. Anything else? No, you probably not. What about the uh, crowd here? Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. Okay, this cursor turns green when we get a hot spot. For example, this bit of crap here. Find something? Piece of chrome. From a car? No, I think it's horse chrome. <laughs> bag it and tag it. <laughs> Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. Yes. Do not disturb the fire hydrant. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was going to root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. Uh, you're supposed to be canvassing over here. Obviously not going to bother to canvas then, are we? I already checked for a crowbar, some kind of tool. No luck, but it looks like we've got some latents. Make sure the lab boys run them through the mainframe, human and rep. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. Hey you. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. Okay. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Calm down, sir. Obviously. What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. It's a bit camp, to say the least. Can you think of anything they might have been after? First, I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? Easy, sir. Easy. 
You ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer, last May I personally sold Governor Kolvig an exquisite Perseron cult. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? I'm ruined. Ah, so totally he maintains ruined. that he's selling real animals. Well, they would cost a fortune. Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for about a month. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. Mm. She got a desk? Or someplace mm. where she worked? She used to eat over there. If you treated her a bit better, then none of this shit would have happened to you. I'm ruined! Yeah, good. Totally ruined! You got any discs from that camera? It's irrelevant. Those no. murderers also destroyed the camera. Thousands of chinyans worth. Maybe it photographed them before they shot it out. Chinyan. Mm, I guess you've got a point, that. Go get me that CD-ROM. High tech. Two years time they'll be using these again. I believe this is the disc from last night. Peachy. See if you can dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, it's somewhere here. Just a moment. Maybe we can go back to Ogilvy's. Find out where this girl came from. Where are you going? I'm over here. Here you are. Wow, well, take the long route. Now this is annoying. There's a, a clue down here. It just looks like a bit of a stone or something. Just This is a case in point of scanning with a mouse. Look. My precious one. She was my baby. Big caliber, possibly off-world combat weaponry. Ballistics might give me a fix on it. So... Let's look at Lucy's desk. Come to here, no. Kind of a boring life for this tiger stuck in this cage. What have we got here? It looks like a dog. Hmm. A toy dog. Toy doggy. Monkeys. Wow, isn't that cute? Monkeys. What's this on the desk? A candy bar. Yuck. And... Howie Lee's, in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. Okay. Looks like somebody shot up the place. Anything else you can help me with, sir? Stick around. I may not be finished with you. Okay, let's get out of here. So if Runciter hadn't have been such a repulsive sex offender, <clears throat> none of that would have happened. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, so I'm assuming it's sex offender. Let's go to the police station and examine the video disc. <laughs> quick journey mainframe and shooting range the Tyrell Corporation today recalled the last four functioning entertainment model Nexus 5 replicants from off-world service Dr. Eldon Tyrell speaking at a shareholders meeting denied allegations that the model was defective and possibly dangerous. 
The simple fact is that the model wasn't performing its designated function. There was one isolated incident of violence a couple of years ago, but the individual unit in question was immediately retired from service. No, the problem is far from anything sinister. The entertainment model just isn't funny. Old copies of case files, notices, and memos. The usual station junk. So it sounded like the original actor who played Tyrell. It's very um, unusual in those days to be able to get the real people in. He must have had mucho dinero. Lucky strikes. Crystal's brand. I knew she was spending a lot of time in the training maze these days, even though she'd already gotten close to a perfect score. Yeah, it was the golden age of Westwood games. Probably made a fortune with Command and Conquer. Okay. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Which you are. Let's check out the disk. Scanning video disk. Two enhanceable images found. Is that all? Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Ah, uh, enhanceable. So they need to be a certain resolution, I imagine. Run sitter crime scene. So, I think we need to zoom in and see who's breaking in. That's obvious. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. Okay, I'm right on it. <clears throat> and what about the license plate of this car? Back to go in. We'll take a run up. Local license plate. Give me a hard copy of that. Okay, come on, be a sec. <clears throat> Sorry, just had to do a hard copy. <laughs> Printers are the other side of the room. Okay, anything else in this picture? What about Monsieur Ranciter? What is he looking at? Or really want to know his ledger anything at all no. cannot read the ledger uh, and reflections on the top of this maybe nothing in the reflection the old tiger bore to tears. Let's quickly check the other one. Yes, if you'd seen the original Blade Runner movie, which I recommend you do because it's a great film, uh, Harrison Ford looked at a picture and looked at a reflection of a mirror, or a mirror's reflection, sorry, which was in the picture. And from that, he got a Clue and identity. Run setter crime scene. Okay, what have we got here? There's something on the monitor. And is that the tiger? Yes, that's the tiger. Hello. Is that Lucy? Maybe we can scooch round. Yes. Hello there, Lucy. Give me a hard copy of that. There's that Duracell bunny. Yeah, what's this over here? Looks like a snake. It is a snake. Uh, anything else? Okay, that'll do for that.
Let's upload what we've discovered. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. And we don't use those. Let's get out of here. Laboratory. Let's go to the lab. Let's see if they've got any information for me. Got anything new for me, Dino? I was wondering when you'd show your mug around here, McCoy. The shell casings from Runciter should be in the Museum of Military History. How's that? They're from an Ender rifle. It's standard issue off-world military hardware. Heavy caliber. That puppy can punch right through a tank. What can I conclude from that? Whoever used this piece didn't just walk into their local sporting goods store and buy it. Those babies are collectibles, and they ain't cheap. Anything, Anything else? else? We got the animal corpses from Runciter's, but there wasn't a whole lot to work with. Bone marrow? About 50% were real, the rest were fakes. So, Runciter was ripping his customers off. State of the art fakes. Miles beyond mm -hmm. the crap you see on Animoid Row. The kind that comes from legit manufacturers? Yeah, they're the ones that usually produce the quality. What about the wounds? Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Butcher knife? Could be, but who cuts meat anymore? Nice bunch of reps I'm tailing. Hope you're not pulling a meat cleaver out of my back next week. Yes. Anything else? That black paint you found on the fire hydrant? It's from a ground car. You sure? The angle of impact was almost head on. And there ain't too many spinner drivers clutzy enough to smack a street level hydrant in VTOL mode. I heard your wife got her license back. <laughs> You're a real funny guy, McCoy. <clears throat> Vertical takeoff mode, I guess. Anything else? A piece of chrome you found outside of Runciter's is from a 1995 Pontiac. Nice set of wheels. It's okay, not what I call a classic. Anything else? Anything else? Zip man, try me later. Zip man. It's all a bit bebop. Proof. Let's go to the Chinese restaurant and identify a chopstick. Come on. In you go. Yeah. Looks like the guy from Fallout New Vegas. Real sushi was a luxury reserved only for the elite, since most sea life had become radioactive after the Third Terran War. The rest of us had to eat new sooch, soya mixed with off-world lichen. McCoy, LPD. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Sorry, my man. I just don't got the time. You're a pretty smart-looking cat. You wanna make some money? Pay me large? You got my rapt attention. Depends on how much the information's worth. Unfortunately, my man, I got a book. Got to mix more out back. Okay. Dynamite yeah. dining, old man. Catch you later. The boogie's off. Beautiful night, isn't it? When business thriving, night always beautiful. This girl ever eat around here? Nah, all gaijin look like the old man. This from your place, isn't it? Could be. Chopstick come from Yoshi's restaurant supply. What about this dude? Excuse me, pal. I'm talking to you. Hey. You got anything that's a match for these? You. Are you taking any drugs? McCoy, LPD. Yes, suspicious characters. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. Ugh. Disgusting. What the hell are you cooking? Who's eating this crap? Howie says you're a master chef. You not come back here. Air bad. This will only take a minute. 
You know this girl or not? Nope. I know who I know, and who I don't know. I don't know her. Think hard. Okay. Maybe seen her once. At station. Riding north on bullet train. North, mm -hmm. huh? Aha! Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, we're supposed to dive out the way. Oh dear, that looked good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Free, sir. A big guy run past here? Hey, maybe spare some chinion? Sorry, pal. All I got are hundreds. Hey, that'd work. In your dreams. It's in this dumpster. Well, I never. It's a license plate. Yeah, that's the goulash she's been serving up. Look. Yuck. Mm hmm. The hell it is. This is Fallout New Vegas. Look. Totally uninteresting. Crap. Totally uninteresting. Well, I'm not chasing him up there. I'm going to go back home. And wash this bloody crap off of my shoes. Industrial sludge. Who'd eat that anyway? Really mad. See ya. See ya, cookie. How long has that chef worked for you? Zuban? Just months. Superior chef makes all kinds of new suits. What's real fresh tonight? Special shipment of Toro just arrived. I fix you right up, no one else. Clean as a whistle. You're Prince Howie. So the chef has um, only been here a month. For the role. See you later, Suspicious, Howie. Maybe. Right, let's go back home. I've uh, had enough for one day. I want to clean up and have a scotch. She's eating the Murray mints. Top parking. Not much good. It would ruin every penthouse, really, wouldn't it? Because you'd have cars landing on your roof all the time. Right, let's get back. Do it's that guy. Stop chasing me with a bloody cleaver. Die already. This is bloody Diablo flashback. Run! Run, dodge, you know. Fuck, he doesn't go down easy, does he? Last. And this is why we killed him on the roof. Because. Look who's here. Slowest cameo in history. Rumor has it you've been earning your stripes, McCoy. Working on it. Keep it up. You just might have a future in this business. I understand it's got a hell of a retirement plan. You VK the mark before retirement? Didn't have to. That's why they call it the magic. I'm starting to understand. You ever retire a human, your career is over. Remember that. I checked with you and air. Looks your rep swung that moonbust massacre last month. 
They ever find the moon bus? Disappeared into thin air. Brian thinks it crashed out in the Kipple. How many reps are we talking about? Enough. They're Nexus Sixes. So don't take too much slack. Gotcha. No, that's not the original gaff. In fact, it was pretty bad. He looks quite cool with the little cane, though, but uh, very disappointed after going through that rooftop fight just to see him. Gaff, come back. So, where's your ride? Just walked off the edge of the building. Oh, hang on, let's search. Yuck. Hey? Yuck. Yuck. Um, doesn't he have a photograph? Yuck. Oh dear. Your floor number, please. Apartments. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. I lived with the best gal I'd ever seen. She was two now and full of life and love. She'd cost me about a year's salary, but she was worth it. It was good to have someone warm nearby after completing a dirty job. And the retirement swag from this case would go toward getting her a partner. Ah, and then they have puppies, and that pays for everything. Hello. Who's the best dog in the whole world? Who's the best dog? Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Oh, it's a bit small for dinner. Who's the best dog in the whole world? What's up here? Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Okay, that's enough of that. Ooh, that's the same machine as we have at work or the station. So we don't want that. And... Is there any carpet? No, it's hard floor. Zubin was the first Nexus 6 I'd come up against. There was something in his eyes, an almost primordial desire to live. Most of the 3s, 4s, and 5s I'd seen would just give up when you had them. But these 6s, they were a whole other breed. Sounds like a copyright strike in the making. No messages. I'm in demand. Quick, run away. Run away from Vangelis. Your floor number, please. Can't monitorize this. Get out of here. Okay, and go back up. Maybe Vangelis Your is gone. Your floor number, please. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. Yes. Maggie, it's safe. You've had enough chow. Let's check the answer machine. No messages. I'm in demand. An isolated incident of violence a couple of years ago. I've but the individual seen this new story. Retired from Shut up. <laughs> oh no, is that Vangelis? Don't go out there, for God's sake. Yes, it triggers Vangelis. It's going to sleep fast. Portrait of the sleep deprived. And that's where we'll end it.